I had no impression of you. Then we went on the actual date. Mm -hmm. And then I was just like, wait a second. She's uh, fun. I think when I first started flirting with you, that was off camera. The first day, I tried a lot. Yeah, but so easy if you give in like that. You probably get girls all the time like that. As a viewer, I'm sure everybody click on this. They're probably wondering, what are you guys? We are live. It's been three weeks since I've been back on a podcast. And for, for good reason. I was in Korea and I met my guest here, Casey. Hi, I'm Casey. I met him in Korea. Actually, no, I didn't meet you in Korea. Actually, yes, I yes, did. You I did officially meet him in Korea. Yes, and it was uh, alongside Gabe here. You, normally, I, I uh, Gabe is behind the camera, but you know, today <laughs> I was, I wanted to to include Gabe in more more biz because sometimes you, you you would just have side comments. Yeah. And then I'm just like, there, there's no, people don't see anything, right? And you know, you know what this Korea trip has t taught me? And just like over the past month, you've been just like such an integral part of the channel now. I feel like it's about time. Yay. No. It's about was, time. He was also. Hello, guys. <laughs> what? What? I was just saying, you were also like a very big part of our trip together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Third wheeling. I don't know what it is. Excuse it, me? <laughs> 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 very big wheel. On the on the yeah. on the tricycle. Mm. Mm. I think normally I I just jump straight into the topics, but I think we could talk a little bit about like this whole career trip, right? Mm. Sorry, I'm eating. I first FaceTime you when I was here. Mm. I was like, hey, you know, I'm doing. Wait, this. that was here. Yeah, that, that was, was like room. that was in my room. Ah, uh, wait, it was before you flew, right? Yeah, it was right before I flew. I I, I didn't know the the fucking time difference, mm. and I just it was called like 5 you. It was five a.m. It was five a.m. You and were still like, up. Hey. <laughs> you're like hey yeah and then you're like i'm down mm. but at that point were you like oh he's kind of cute he's kinda... <laughs> how long have you been waiting to ask that <laughs> i don't know if you need some validation but i do oh damn so, so you better <laughs> down bad <Yeah. laughs> you're cool i wanted to because i feel like if i didn't make that face on it could have been a little aw more awkward right no not really no. I'm not really the awkward person when I meet people. True, but at, at least I. I, gave I think an I appreciate. I appreciated that you did like make that extra step, and you were like, "Uh, oh, I'm coming." So then I was like, "Okay, he's coming," and he like made sure that I knew that. Yeah. Because then I wouldn't be like, "Uh, so does he even care if like we're gonna meet or like?" Right, right, yeah. right. I figured it's to make a good impression. At least. Yeah, and you got me the the Cheetos that the I wanted. The Cheetos. Yeah. You you made a point. <laughs> I, I remember I was with Gabe in the car. I was like, wait, hold on. Before going to the airport, <laughs> I, I got a little pissed up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, he got me Cheetos. I wanted Cheetos. Because in Korea, you don't have like, well, I mean, they have salty snacks. But then salty snacks are not popular in Korea. They're like sweet and savory. Like yeah. honey butter popcorn. I don't really like that stuff. You don't like the honey no, butter stuff? Oh, I okay. don't at all. Okay. Yeah. And like pizza is also sweet. Like a lot of savory things like chicken, it's uh -huh. it's sweet. Oh, like, you miss the salt in I miss, America. Yeah, I miss salt. Okay. Yeah. So then I uh, go over to Korea and the first night we were just, uh, I, I had no impression of you. It was no, just, that's, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Then we went on the actual date, mm. and then I was just like, wait a second. Mm. She's, uh, you know, just a, a vibe. Uh, right, now, how was the third wheel? How, how was the third wheel behind the kid? Uh, what, what, what did it look like, bro? What did it look like? Like, cause, cause, cause at first, no, 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 no. at first, like sh she pulled up, like we started just we started filming, right? Yeah. Like a as we were walking to the store, to the to the uniform shop, mm -hmm. right? And then, like, like what, what'd you think? Mm. Where she, she was like, oh man, th there's some, there's some shit that we can't even say. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you guys just seemed very natural. And I think of all of all of them, like Cassie, you felt like the most natural on camera. Casey, Casey. Casey. <laughs> oh shit, whoops. Damn, it's like that, huh? <laughs> Not we went. We were in two countries together. <laughs> we went to head in the clouds. We, yeah. My name's Casey. It's okay. Casey, don't forget it. Thank you. Cassie. Casey. <laughs> no, no, she like hates it. I actually hate it. But uh, yeah, it was just like uh, I don't know. I thought you guys like met or talked before because just how like immediate you guys were like with each other and like just you know because most people you, you first meet them we had to like 
prep talk before yeah, it was like a warm film up. right away. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, you've like met with a like this isn't the first time you're collaborating with somebody, right? So like, I mean, to be really honest, this is the first time I collaborated with like a guy doing something that long i guess because no. usually i'm more on tiktok so sure. tiktok's like i mean you saw when i filmed it's like yeah. five seconds yeah i'm revealing some secrets out here. <laughs> <laughs> sure. when i film i literally film for five seconds and then i call it a day so it's yeah. usually like we kick it we get food yeah we film the five seconds and then we're like peace out so oh, it's it. not even longer than like an hour and a half to be honest like uh, when we like hang out because like, I feel like it's awkward to meet up for five seconds and say bye so we like yeah. eat and then we like we film then we go but then with you I literally I spent the, the whole day with you so yeah but then we started recording like immediately yeah actually well no no no, no we had that little, little we had, like, yeah. at the cafe yeah we were tired but, but as soon as the camera came on you turned on oh yeah professional professional yeah yes. but but normally when, when, you, when you meet up with dudes to to cl- collaborate right is it just like off rip like it's just you guys click or is it just like oh hi oh how do you want to feel special oh my god <laughs> all right next question um so 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 I'll, what I'll ask it. do you normally hit it off with guys when you first film with them or do you, do you click right i away? mean i see the thing is that i don't really have the intention so like i don't i don't usually come in with the intention of like ah like is this person like trying to make a move on me yeah well for me it's business because i mean collaborations are business mm-hmm. right like any anything that has to do with the social media right now and for me at yeah. least is business i don't i try to separate the personal from the business and i'm not gonna lie i came into it as yeah. like okay i'm just gonna film a video yeah. with casey like yeah it's a day but it's like all right what, what but I, I mean like it, it shocked me because i was like oh he's pretty cool and like you're right there's like a natural like you can't replicate like a natural vibe no. there was a natural vibe yeah for the longest time i was like yo she's she's such a good actress like like she is just i mean i i, I could still be acting you you could you, you, you could <laughs> jimmy in the back of his head like is she pretending to to enjoy my company <laughs> 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 but you're a dancer. You, you you haven't really been in front of the camera for. I mean, you've been you, in front of the camera, but you, you haven't mean? been. No, no, you've been in front of the camera, but you haven't really like did long form content. And, yeah. And, so where's that point going to? Um. Okay. Uh, so, uh, it's kind of a random thought because I'm, I'm trying. No, it's coming from. I mean, he's focused, but it's coming from like you know you're used to you know like you said filming for like you know a minute or two for TikTok quick throughout a hangout, but this is like. I guess he was shocked at how natural you were and how like comfortable ah. you were on camera on like a long filming session, you know? Because most people like, you know, even if it's like a person that's been on camera, they kind of like have like a limit. They have like a limit. But you was just like, yeah. I just keep going. <laughs> you also brought up like, like you usually keep it very professional with, with guys that you, you shot, right? Mm. Um, so has... Has uh, guy homies try to slide on you, like on, on like shoots? No, again, it's professional. It's professional, right? So, so there hasn't been an instance, or you you just you just separate it. You're like, no, I separate it. You're like, hey, bro, let's film the video, mm. and I got a dip. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm like very career focused right now, mm-hmm. so I don't really think like entertaining the idea of a relationship is kind of in my alley right now. So. Right, right. Yeah. I mean, same here. Mm. <laughs> that that leads me to the next question, right? Okay. It's like you're originally from LA, but then you moved to Korea, mm-hmm. and you've done a lot of traveling mm-hmm. in your past. Yeah. Have you tried long distance? Um, which I'm sure yeah, you, you have. Right? Mm. Have you made it work? Have you? Mm. So without giving out any names. Sh- sure. I have tried a couple like long distance situations and a lot of them didn't work out. I'm like a firm believer that long distance does not work. Mm. But same. As much as I am like a firm believer of that, I also have this like weird hopeless romantic like 0.001% belief that like maybe there's one person out there that's like willing to like try but even when i say try it's kind of like all right it's probably still not gonna work out but then like i don't know the hopeless romantic in me believes that it it could happen right and there's a lot of scenarios where like i've been with someone and i either had to move or i have thoughts of moving Mm -hmm. 
while I'm in the relationship with someone. I mean, yeah, it's not that I'm wishing for a guy to like go out of his way or anything. Mm -hmm. I just, in the back of my head, I'd like to believe that there's someone out there in this world that can do that, but mm -hmm. I'm not like out here pushing that on anyone because sure. that's selfish, mm -hmm. so yeah. I did try to make like relation, long distance relationships work, but I came to realization that because of like our career paths and also like where what we wanted to do with our lives like didn't line up and also like the time that we're putting into like what we want to do it's like when we put that time into ourselves we take away from the time that we could be giving to other people mm -hmm. so i felt guilty too because like i want to put some time into like my dancing and like the things i want to do right mm -hmm. but then when i do that i have to take away from like loving the guy that i want to love so it's almost unfair t for me, at least, to like give that or be in a relationship with someone long distance because I feel like unless they're not like right next to me, I can't give them like the leftover time that I have because I live in Korea right now. And if I were to like do that, for example, and like date someone like in, in the U.S., like that's a time difference. Then I got to account for my work and then I have to account for sleep. Then like what happens after? Like, like with all those hours, there's like nothing. And then, and then it's, it's about the love language too. So there's no yeah. yours is, I know what yours is. It's, it's physical touch, right? So mm -hmm. it's like there's no physical intimacy there either. Mm. So that's also makes it tough. So yeah. all around, it just it it don't work. I mean, I feel like to say that something is like a infinite don't. It's very it's, it's very hard. Like it's very putting hard a to... knife in it and like twisting it. But I think that twisting it. <laughs> there are people in this world that can make that happen, yeah. right? Like there there are some people that have dated with like their significant wow. other for a really long time, started long distance, mm -hmm. ended up together, have kids now and stuff. So I'm not gonna say that it's like an impossible, undoable feat. But I yeah. think that really depends on what both parties in the relationship like want to do and also what they're willing to sacrifice because no matter what you do if you date someone at least in my opinion right now in our like age range mm. that a age range matters yeah, so much you're gonna have to like sacrifice something yeah you have to like push something down the priority list for like that person to you know move up right yeah. and then they have to do the same thing push down one thing and like I think having to do that sacrifice is really hard. And yeah. it's hard to ask for for a person you don't even know if you're gonna get married to, right? But like, also- When do you wanna get married? I get married early. Really? Yeah, I actually, it's it's super weird when people ask me this, I kinda wanna get married when I'm like 27. Oh, wow. So I'm actually 24 right now and I have this like really weird thing where I tell my friends like, oh, like I only got three years left, like this. And I always, I've had this idea of what I wanted to do like before how, how, I married. How, how, how long, yeah, yeah, what, like, what, what do you wanna do before? Yeah, so see, I'm, I'm already getting there and I already know what you want, <laughs> I already know what you wanna hear. So basically what I wanna do is I wanna date this person how for long? like, like maybe about a year uh -huh. and then I want to move in with that person right. because I want to see how they live how our like live living languages I don't know living, like, living habits yeah yeah like I want to see how their habits align with mine also like if they're a clean person if they're right. like they have to have like sense in Korea we call it like, sense uh -huh. which means like the ability to kind of like understand or like pick up on things like yeah. very quickly so for example if i spilled this like you would quickly like get the napkins yeah yeah, yeah. you would up. like go and stand up get the yeah, napkins yeah, yeah. like that's sense so i need to see like if that person has sense and then after like 2 years yeah you know, i'm gonna pop the question i'll do it like i don't really so technically you would have to meet him at 25 technically i need to meet him now <laughs> 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 right, 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 right. Who knows? Maybe, maybe I've already met him. Maybe. Why such a like, like such a hard like? Oh, twenty-seven. That's crazy. It's not necessarily like oh, I have to get married at twenty-seven, yeah. right? So I want to get married early because I want to build a life with someone. So a lot of people in like. Um, early early to like mid 20s even like late 20s we're mm -hmm. all like trying to chase our careers right yeah. relationship instability that's like a thing with yeah. us. like people are like talking they're like dating they're like mm, hooking up like they nothing wrong with any of these things right but there's no like security yeah. in relationships and i think i really want like that one pillar in my life to be like secure because i want to like grow with that person but well, you, you see how, how it's kind of misaligned with life Cause like it, it's way more possible to do it in, in the thirties. Yeah, but that's where, like where, something that you believe, right? 
Yeah, mm-hmm. that's something I believe because in, I think in the twenties, it. I mean, I, I think you, you kind of pointed it out. I'm just I'm just yeah, trying. I'm, to, again, I'm, like when I'm saying something, I'm not saying like this is fact. Like I'm just saying this is my opinion. And but also, I, I think it is low key facts because <laughs> that's the time of your life where you take the most risk. Things might not work out. Mm. Then then you could fall back mm. and like just just c- continue mm-hmm. risking things until you figure something out that works. Right. Mm. That's because after college, that's when like life really starts. And then that's when you 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 know people go after the things that they've always wanted to do, mm. unless you know there, there's a nine to five people. The nine to five people they I, I, I see them like getting married a little mm. bit younger, like in their twenties, mm-hmm. and like some of my friends back in college they, they already got married. Yeah, you know, same. and I'm like okay, cool, I I see that. But in our line of, of work, mm-hmm. where it's like you don't know where you're gonna be next year mm-hmm. or even next month, mm-hmm. so it's like the comfort zone is not. Is, is detrimental mm. you know what i mean mm-hmm. so it's like that's why you see all these celebrities and all these people like they it, things don't really work out until later on in life mm. at least that hey you know what what is this what is this formal shit you you it don't gotta be it don't gotta be like that wait you're like you're like we're having a debate or something i'm not Maybe you're feeling like tension. I'm just listening to you. Okay, okay. 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 Cool. Yeah, we're not having a debate. Okay, okay. Yeah. We're good. Okay. Right, cool. Okay, cool. cool. <laughs> For me, the reason why I want to get married early is because I want to like start a life with someone and grow with them. Mm-hmm. I also I think marriage and relationships are an investment and in, with emotion and also like a monetary investment, financial investment. I think that <laughs> my goal is actually to like eventually build a business with my partner and <clears throat> what kind of business i want to be a landlord okay <laughs> interesting all right just own some properties mm. cool but it takes a lot of capital and obviously like i'm still like making money right and i think it just kind of helps if it you is. can like and like yeah. yeah but i mean i'm not like looking for like someone out there in the streets just because like i want that like capital Wait. like if anything like I want to be like the breadwinner of the family eventually oh. in life. That's like my goal in life. <clears throat> so to, to, to make more than, than you make. Yeah, is. and I'm not like really. I don't care if like I get married with someone and I'm like, okay, like you have to pay, or right. like I have to pay. Like I just want to cover everything. Like if I love someone, like I'll do everything for them. Like everything, everything. So marriage. Well, what yeah, a yeah. Well, well, those are those are yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold on, let, let's rewind it a little bit. Uh, oh, okay, our first date. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's talk about some your worst first date because obviously ours is just fucking fantastic. You know, we, we had a our content idea. first date. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so we had we had dates pro- like behind the camera. No, did we have dates behind the camera? We had a little one. We did. Yeah. Which one? We went to eat the skewers and ah that was a date um you got friends on buddy ah uh. that was a hangout <laughs> <laughs> no that was a like did you eat yet and then you were like nah and then and then i was like no like, show just... me show me your favorite spot in hongdae and yeah. i was like all right cool and then i was like this is us going out no. Off camera. Yeah, but like I went out off camera with like a bunch of my friends. Like, it's not a date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's it's not. Yeah. Oh, my fault. Uh, yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. You thought Jimmy thought it was a date? No, no, no. J- Jimmy didn't think it was a date either. You, thanks for, thanks the, for the, thing, the thing about Jimmy though is like you can totally read his emotions by the way he like everything uh. like sad, happy, mad. <laughs> like you can see it. Yeah, he's got a very reactive face. Oh. <laughs> I'm also like that too. You could tell if I'm sad. I'm. I'm uh, yeah. Like it, I'll just. I'll just yeah, you, you. <laughs> I can't. I can't hide my. Yeah, my I can't hide mine either. But that's um, that's a great thing. That's a great call, quality in, yeah, in a guy, actually. It's, it's like trustworthy. It's it's yeah. I guess so. What if a guy doesn't have that? I don't have that. You don't have that. No, no, no. no do you I think you have like a? Well, it's not like you purposely oh, poker face, but yeah, like, yeah, he does. Think? He does. He's naturally unreactive. Like the, the craziest thing will happen. You'd be like, word. It was kind of funny, actually. <laughs> I, I, kinda, I kinda fuck with that. I don't know. Just, Word. <laughs> I, just, I just take it in, and then I think before I react, I guess. Like, if you tell me something, like, if my ex told me or that she cheated, I'd be like, oh. <laughs> I think if, like, with you, it's like. It would be, like, 
immediately visceral. Like I would just yeah, like, <laughs> like sorry, Jimmy, I cheated. You're like what? <laughs> you would turn red and you would like stand up and you'd literally go like this and you're like yeah, no, he would. You'd be like I drop on my knees. He literally go like this, <laughs> and then he'll be like. Okay. Oh my Damn, is this blame right, Jimmy? Work. Let's do this. Okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's so funny. That's that's true. Oh, time to kill us. <laughs> Don't say that. Oh shit. Don't okay. Say that. Move me past that. Let, let's get back to to what are we getting? First day. Um, first day. Yes. First impression. Wait. Uh, what was your first impression of me? Of you? Mm, depending on your answer, I won't walk out. Sure. <laughs> you're not, you're sure okay. We can have a twenty-minute podcast. <laughs> That's funny. I'll tell you if you're lying or not. Don't worry. Okay. You have many, like, facets to, to, to your personality, right? Like, mm. oh, we could have these deep conversations. Mm. And then we could have, like, these, these little flirty little moments. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, actually, I remember... The, the, so why you kind of... <laughs> I'm doing. I'm doing absolutely nothing. Yeah, just, just that ability to, like, match the flirting. Mm. I, was, I was caught off guard. But yeah. I was still right there with you. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was like, wh why is she not backing down? Why like, is energy's she being matched. Yeah, 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 just yeah, yeah. like, yo. Yo, why is she not yo. being nervous or mm. shy? Yeah. And I was just like, I was just so caught off guard. And I was just like, damn, this is kind of, this is kind of fire. What do you think was, like, the thing that, like, one thing that, like, sold you for, like, one second? Like, okay, so the, the first thing was, was, was the, was the knee thing. The knee thing? Yeah. What? Like, when, when, um. Touched, you touched his knee? I touched your knee? Or like, yeah, I in touched... An Uber. Uber, like, you know, the knee joke? Yeah, you, you touched her knee. Yeah. It became like a, a joke after all. And then you're like, fuck it, I'll do it again. Uh, yeah. And then you, you're, you were just cool with me touching your knee. And I was like, oh. Actually, no, it was at the... <laughs> wait, why is that? <laughs> do, do girls just slap your hand when they touch their knee? <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Actually, no, 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 no. <laughs> Wait, that's got funny. First part. <laughs> no, 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 Actually, no, no. Jimmy's never gone further than a knee touch. <laughs> it, it <was. laughs> yeah, there's a reactive face. <laughs> no, 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 okay, no, 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 It was, but it, it was that. It was, it was at the change room that I was like, yo, she is, like, right. And I made so many moves on you, but, like, yeah, you, you deflected it, but you didn't deflect it in a way where it was like, oh, she's shutting me. She's shutting me down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she's like, she's like deflecting it just enough where it's like, oh, no, keep trying, though. Yeah. Yeah. I like it when they keep trying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, like, I tried. I tried a lot. And I'm not going to lie, like, it was probably the most I have ever just attempted and you just didn't give in. Mm. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> How did you deflect them though? Like, like for for guys to tell the difference between like a good deflecting and a bad deflecting? Cause she would like move her cheek, but she wouldn't like, whoa, hey, stop. Yeah. But she would just like. It's like you leave just enough for it to not be like, boom. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you you could tell when when, when a girl's like, you know, uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah. I know some guys can't tell, but you know if if you were to to like really weave me <laughs> and be like no uh, yeah yeah you don't even have to you don't even have to because no some girls don't, don't even like to to um let a guy down like that yeah. and go Ugh, like that like that's that's kind of mean to, yeah. towards the guy right yeah I so think she was just comfortable in your like area in my presence you. Right, right 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 like i don't know i don't know what exactly like like what what also like i must have created a space for you to also be comfortable with just like with just me constantly making a move, <laughs> right? I thought it was really cute. Really? It was like, you know when like a puppy is like, a puppy. Cool. like, like this, uh. he wants a treat. Ah! Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 oh man, yeah, a treat. How do you feel about that, Jimmy? Hey bro, I did that. was a good ass treat. <laughs> uh. See why dogs do it. Yeah, I was feeding for the treat. <laughs> uh, should we segue to, to another? All right, now let's talk about something more more, more general. Mm. What was your worst date? I don't think I've ever been on a date that's like super, super bad. Uh -huh. A lot of the guys that like try to make an effort to take me out have yeah. been very nice to me. Mm, sure. Very sweet to me. I did have like one date with someone that I remember. How about this? All right, tell that and then I got a follow-up mm. question, okay. which was like... 
you know, what, what would put in your head like, oh, I don't want to go out with this guy again? Okay, so long story short, I went on a date with this person. He was supposed to pick a place. I didn't end up, or I showed up to like a place that he sent an address to. Mm -hmm. And when we get there, all the places were closed. Yeah. So I was like, ah, oh, like this is awkward because I know you like made the effort to choose a place. So I was like, you know what? It's okay. I'll choose a place because I knew the area better. Mm. I ended up choosing a place. We got to the, <laughs> we we got to this restaurant. We waited like two hours because we didn't make a reservation sure. beforehand. And then after that, we ate. But then there was not a lot of like conversation being made because I think he was just really nervous. Uh -huh. And like I'm the type of person that like loves to like conversate and yeah. like talk back and forth mm. about like dreams aspirations life mm -hmm. compatibility whatever but there was really nothing like beyond the surface level i think it just didn't match like he was nervous he was just really nervous really yeah and how I, did you I, meet him friend he's a friend uh, okay but i think it's it's like sometimes when you go from a friend and then you like take it like up a notch yeah. it's a little bit weird because you're like oh i've been friends with you for years but then all of a sudden i'm seeing you in the light of a relationship so like yeah. that's that's a or lot or just like a date, date yeah kind of. but like but you have to like see them as a lover versus like seeing them as a friend. So I think having that him switch gears at that moment mm. made him really anxious and nervous. Mm. And I appreciated his efforts. So I, I kept, I was like trying to throw out conversation points. And I realized we weren't compatible uh, with the things that we liked. But, but if you guys were friends, then, then it, like conversation should be like natural, no? Yeah, but we ended up just talking about our friends, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Like there was nothing more uh, or less. It was just like we talked about friends and we try to go deeper into personal life. But uh, honestly, I got to the point where I was like, I, I don't really, I, I don't, don't care. care. Yeah. So I was like, okay, um, I'm gonna just we'll go one more place, see if we can like match in music taste. Yeah. So one thing for me is like if I'm compatible with someone in music, mm. if we like the same music and have the ability to understand music, the way it flows, the way that it makes your body move, mm. then I'll pursue that. Because like music is something super, super important to me. And I was playing, I was showing my playlist to this person. I was showing like the reason I, I order my playlist by key and also by emotion. Uh -huh. So all of my playlists have like a special like place connection and yeah. place in my heart. It's kind of weird, I know, but I, I just, I do that. Sure. And so I showed him a couple of my the songs and they played in order. My popcorn, I really want to eat it. Um, they're like played, I played in order of like, it's this playlist of like, falling in love right because i wanted yeah. to induce these feelings and kind of elicit like how or just you would feel around him yeah, yeah. and i wanted him to feel like what i was feeling cool. but he was just like like this like in the car i know like i wasn't i don't know i wasn't expecting like what song, anything what, what song like did you play? huh what song did you play i played a lot of songs i played like four songs like uh -huh. in a row but I wasn't expecting like anything to be like, oh my god, like oh I, I, love, I love this song, right? But I was expecting maybe like, oh like maybe he didn't know the songs. Uh, oh my god, buddy. I mean maybe, <laughs> maybe, but I, I felt like it was just kind of like I was just showing him some music, and it was just that was it. Uh -huh. and we, we just drove home. Uh -huh. He asked me if did like, he make did he make a move? No, he didn't. Uh -huh. He asked me if I wanted to like go on a second date with Oof. him, Oof. but I was like ah. Oh. I mean, just hearing this, I'm like, yeah, I would. It was nothing bad, but it was sure. nothing great, yeah, you know. Yeah, and yeah. I don't like going on dates in general, like because I don't like that investment with people. But right. if I'm gonna make an investment in someone, like they gotta interest me, they gotta yeah. pique my curiosity. If yeah. you don't pique my curiosity, you just get out. Um, <laughs> I think that's something you said to me like very early on. Yeah. Like yeah, a lot of guys don't really make me curious, and I'm like, oh, I, you know, I could probably do something about that. And then you're like, yeah, I don't think so. I could, I'll, I'll pull up the exact text. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't that curious about you. You're kind of readable, but how the turns the table? Hmm. What? How it turns that table? Yeah. What do you mean? How the tables have turned? Ah. Yeah, yeah. Whoops. My bad. Whoops. <laughs> 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 so you weren't curious about anything about this? I mean, no, you did. You you started watching those my my old YouTube videos. You were curious. I watched his old YouTube videos to study the format of how he edits and also mm. to understand how he creates and attracts attention. Okay. Like, cause you know, if you're gonna make long form content, you gotta be interesting. Yeah. You gotta be. You gotta be someone that has like enough of a personality to like keep someone for like ten minutes at yeah. least. You know what I mean? So I was like. How does this guy do it? I make short form content. Yeah. So I, I don't, I know how to make like three second interest, right? Right. But you know how to make 10 minute interest. That's that's impressive. So hey. I was like, 
Yeah, so I had to study. Mm. What'd you find out after studying? I found out a lot of things. <laughs> like? I just, I, just, I just found out a lot of things. <laughs> I mean, it's all public. It's, it's all public. That's true. Like, yeah. well, I was just curious what was she dissected from a girl's point of view. I think I, um, I felt kind of like scared. Scared. Yeah. Scared. To be honest, yeah. I, I was like, uh, you were nervous. Oh, what's this guy making making yeah. videos about sex and then? I mean, I wasn't. I didn't try to. You know, for me, I don't like to come at anyone with like a negative POV. I definitely didn't want to like look at you in a bad light or anything. Yeah. I, I don't have any negative connotations with like sex, sex work and all that. Sure, like sure. I, I think it's it's great. Yeah. If it's if it's you, it's you. Yeah. Um, I just was curious as to like how my stuff would fit in with you. Yeah. And like, I didn't really know at that time that you were doing like a dating series with like seven people six people seven people so yeah. i was like i thought maybe i was just like one video and like good yeah, yeah. it's done in korean but um yeah but then so, i mean to, to clear that up i i didn't know how like i i i went into korea with, with the intent to like maybe pot i don't know how achievable it was mm -hmm. and then i slowly i like i rounded up the dates and then i'm like wait i could actually do this mm -hmm. so it was like yeah i had backup plans okay but then i was like that that's what I told you. So it was like mm -hmm. as I was going. But continue. I was just kind of curious, I guess, in in the sense of like how is this gonna work uh -huh. in terms of my content, your content, our our brand styles, yeah. I guess. But I kept an open mind. That's why I wanted to go. I actually don't even like Lotte World <laughs> when I went. Lotte World was the place that we went to, the amusement park. Yeah, it's like a yeah. Korean Disneyland. Yeah. I don't really like Disneyland. What, what where would you have rather gone? late night walks late night drives i like things that involve looking at nature but not like feeling the nature so example uh -huh. maybe like getting a really nice place like a mansion pen we call it pension in korea uh -huh. it's like a getting a little like staycation house and then like viewing the beach or like the mountains or whatever uh, like, like a getaway house a getaway yeah. house yeah i like that kind of stuff but like it's like you get to look at it but you don't get to like you don't have to be in the grime of it like yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't gotta like set up tent and like yeah. do, do, do campfires and shit okay yeah so like maybe like i would have liked maybe going to like busan or like uh -huh. Jeju and then like i pitch busan and you were like, but, oh, okay, that is... okay, the weather, though. You also have to keep in mind, like, at that point, like... And also, Busan is, like, five hours away. So I don't think you understood the logistical... Like, but, yeah. but yeah, if we started off at 8 a.m., we took a two-hour train ride. Yeah, but I still got life over there, too. You know what I mean? Like, I, well, I mean, you ended up spending the day with me either way, so... Yeah, but, like, we would have to spend the whole day and also travel. That would have taken, like, three days, basically. No, we, we, we would have went in the morning and came back the, the next morning. Then... You know, that's the, you not accounting for my energy. Okay. Yeah. Um, like the recovery of that like full day just oh, filming would have yeah, been like yeah, yeah. a disaster because then I couldn't do my own stuff. That's why I was like, I want to do something like that with you. But at the end of the day, like I need to take care and protect my energy because I'm still working out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like for you, it's it's not saying it was a vacation, but like you have more liberty to like play, right? Because yeah. you're in a different country. Right, right, right. But I don't have a liberty to play as much because I live there. Yeah, like that yeah. is my life. So yeah. I think I was just trying to consider that. But if I had a choice, it would have been Busan, Busan. or Jeju. Yeah. Back to the topic. But yeah. Okay. Next topic. Next topic. I'm gonna just jump straight into it. All right. What at what points were were you trying to flirt with me? Heavy. Heavy. Oh, there's that one scene I really want to watch back. What it, scene? Is it, is when I think we were on the last day we were drinking the drink, and I put the straw in the cup too, <laughs> and then I gave it to you, and I wanted to see like how long he would stay there, and like drink with me. Do you remember that? It was, it was a drink, right? And I put a straw in there. Didn't for you we like too. look at each other for a for long, a long time. time? Yeah, you trying to test my energy. I was just like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't break, bro. I don't break. Okay, I think to be honest, I think when I first started like flirting with you, that yeah. was that was off camera. Do you remember it? Off camera? The skiers. Oh, I guess I don't consider it as a date, but like I was flirting with you that day a lot. No, yeah, mm. but then that was the point where I started to get tired. Already? Yeah. What? Uh, <laughs> that was only like a day in, bro. That that was the second day. All right, this that was the second day. One point five days in. And that was a point where because I, the first day I tried a lot. Yeah, but it's like it's all 
so easy if you give in like that. That's like nothing, that's bare minimum, dude. You probably get girls all the time like that. Right, they fold. <laughs> you have to work hard for the women that you want to pursue. But there does come a point. There's come, there, there does come a point. Where okay, I'm, I'm shooting, go, I'm shooting 0 for 50 uh -huh. in the paint, uh -huh. and I just get left with. How would you like a guy to make a move? I like persistent guys, like I like Clearly. guys that never stop, even after they get me. Okay, just in a general sense on a date, like mm. all the moves that I made, were they just? I think you were too strong, like you were uh. strong. But some people like like your confidence. Like I, I think that there's people that like like really forward, like straight, like okay, yeah, he's he's going for me. Mm -hmm. But I, I like I like the hot and cold. I guess mm -hmm. like I like it where like a guy gives you enough, but it's like not all of it. Like it's not readable. Like you're really readable. That's why that's why I played a lot of hot and cold with you because it it was fun because you expected something or not you not like you expected like like me to do anything right I'm just saying like you're you had like these actions in mind like for example if you came, like, came in for a kiss like you thought the kiss would happen yeah but like when you didn't get that that was where it, it started getting fun so um, I like playing hot and cold uh, yeah yeah you played it a lot. Yeah. Next topic. Cool. Wait, I have a question. What? So like, I want to ask like Gabe too for bo like both of your guys' opinions. Like, what makes you like miss someone? Like, do you guys think that it's really attractive when a girl is like super, super like, hi, 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 hey, hi, hello? Like, no. do you like it when you have your own like space and ability to yes. like? Okay. Yes. Uh, I didn't finish my question, but uh, yeah. Uh, uh, okay, uh, uh, you can elaborate. I didn't finish your question. Because, I mean, there, everyone has their different love languages, right? But, like, when is it... When do guys actually miss... Miss a girl? Someone, yeah. I think that's actually something, I, like, I've never, like, figured out or, like, yeah. genuinely, like, asked, like, from a male you know, perspective. Per perspective. Yeah. Me, personally, a little different. I don't really miss people like that. <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> Hey, yo. <laughs> I think I've met a lot of different people in my life, right? And like, there's like people that have attachment. Have you, have you guys taken the attachment style test? Do you guys know your attachment styles? No. Uh, maybe that's just, I don't know. You should take it. It, it might be a good it's, idea it's, for it's, podcast it's, it's one like, day. It's like secure, insecure. I don't know. No, no. Secure, there's right? Like, that, that one? Yeah, that one, but that's not the like topics. Like, oh. There's like four different ones. Like there's like the anxious attachment one. Like yeah. it's like you're attached. And it's the way that you, because of your like upbringing, like how you are attached to people that are in your life, whether they're lovers mm. or they're friends. But I feel like you have like a ability to like detach yourself from like the person and the emotion. Like it, you have like a separation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gabe does definitely have a separation. Yeah. I mean, basically, I feel like I really don't be missing people, to be honest. Or may, I think it's, it's like a little bit of like an out of sight, out of mind. So I think in order for me to miss somebody, they've got to like really hit me. Damn. So it's got to be like different aspects where like for me, life is like whatever is the most fun. Like you, I miss the fun things in life. Mm -hmm. So or being with fun people and so and so. But like my mom, like I, I love living with my mom. Mm -hmm. But like true say, I think part of me doesn't miss living with her yeah but i would want to you know it's not like i never want to or never, don't want to spend time with her but i just don't miss it so for me to miss a girl i think like the emotions that's got to hit me it's got to hit me like from like a best friend aspect from like a lover's aspect from like a just the things that we do together so she got to be well-rounded yeah she's got to like really like yeah top like a lot of things that happen to me in life Gotcha. Yeah. Like, I've got to top a lot of things that happen in your life. Because even in the beginning of a relationship, like... You can't just be a regular-ass girl. Like, you, yeah. you're not going to miss your friends with benefits. I'm not going to miss, like... You might yeah. miss the sex. Eh. Eh. Damn! I mean, I'm, I'm very weird, so I don't really miss, like, things like wow. that. Yeah, yeah. Weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I respect it. But it's like a... I don't know. It's like an out of sight, out of mind. I think there's a lot going on in life, too. Or a lot of things that, like, I want to do and, like have and do more of so it's like hard to want to do something over again yeah, yeah, yeah. new so it's like that that new that doing something over has got to be like as fun as like the thrill of doing something new you know that makes sense it, it, there's different kind of i guess missing is different from like reminiscing right 
reminiscing is like, yo, th that those were some fire times. Yeah, I would reminisce. I would remin, yeah. yeah. But do it again. To, but to like truly miss, like, yeah. oh, yeah, it'd be a lot. Like, Maybe it's because I've never really been to like love, love, or I don't know. What does it take for you to miss somebody? I don't know. I I tend to <laughs> Some dancing in the dark. No. Like a date to Lotte World. And... This is a really hard question to answer, actually. Like the idea of things, right? But a lot of times when like my relationship ends and stuff, I don't even. It's not that I miss the person. Yeah. I miss the idea of what we could have been if the person tried. Like that's what I miss. And I let that like stick in my head for quite a bit of a time because if I made the investment in that person and then the person isn't, is no longer in my life anymore, I feel like, ah, oh, this, like what we, what we could have been or like what we should have been. Like I always think about that. So I guess I don't miss the person. Weirdly enough, I miss you miss like the potential. The potential, okay. yes, because again, investment, and then if if it ends, and to me, it's like I invested into nothing because I'm very like logical. In the, in so, the, so you would start pl playing out these fantasies in your head, like, oh, we could have done this, we could have went to Hong Kong together, we could have traveled the world to, we could have went to, right? I mean, I feel like I don't like play it out, like. Sure, you do. I don't, mean, don't all girls do? To an extent. I do, but it's more so just thinking about what if we loved each other till the end? Mm. Because then you never know when you like don't pursue that person. So life, life is life is way too long to, to 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 think that though. You know. That's what you think, right? No, but but like the the way you're describing it, it, it sounds like a movie. It's like oh maybe I just want to live like in as a movie as a fictional. No, character. I just want to live as like. <laughs> like raw like as yeah. powerful and as like loving and as like giving in this lifetime yeah, yeah it's a short life but a short life. i don't know while i'm like in it with somebody like it has to be real to me and that's how it's like worth it yeah mm -hmm. but do you, do you ever find yourself getting complacent with like one partner i mean i feel like complacency is like a thing when two people in the relationship kind of like Either they don't push each other to, like, do better. Mm -hmm. Or, I mean, there's... Of course, you sit in, like, a comfortability when you're, like, dating someone, right? But yeah. then at the end of the day, like... I think it also has to do with, like, if you guys have different careers. Mm -hmm. Like, because then they won't understand, like, what you need to do as much. Or, like, maybe this... The, timeline of your life like for example like when i was in college i was like pretty i guess quote unquote complacent but it was because i rinsed and repeated the same like thing over and over again and i didn't have to pay my own rent like i was still like under yeah. my parents and also under scholarship i wasn't yeah. worried i didn't have a light up my ass like I, yeah. I felt like i was just like i'm fine i can just go to school eat go home and do my like homework and study and then like go see my boyfriend or like stay at my boyfriend's place like it was just very like it was a happy comfortable place but yeah like in terms of where i wanted to be in my life i didn't know yet so i guess looking back right now i think yeah that was definitely like a complacent like a very still moment in my life but i wouldn't blame it on anyone i think it's just i wasn't in that mental to even know that i needed to like live like that right so if i ever find found someone if i was ever dating someone in this like timeline in this space if when i'm 24 right now i think it would be different like i would definitely be like pushing my partner to like do what they wanted to do and not be like in the way of that because i think career in like your 20s it's just really hard especially with the things that we do like we have a similar like lifestyle mm -hmm. to a certain extent i think that we have to be mindful that our lifestyle takes a lot of work, a lot of consistency, and any sort of like distraction or things mm. that could potentially make you feel comfortable or complacent can be detrimental to your career. So I never had a chance to also miss people mm. because, I mean, I guess my friends in New York, but they also, I don't know, they, they didn't have such a like strong emotional pull on me as you did in the past. <laughs> You gotta hit him with you gotta hit him with the facts facts, bro. Facts, bro. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know you was chill like that, bro. <laughs> That'd be like crying at <laughs> me. I'd be like facts, bro. <laughs> it's a different kind of miss. I don't know what it is. It's like it's like I have I've had the, you know, oh I, I miss my girl, you know, mm -hmm. I'm traveling, I miss her, da da. But this is like 
This is a little different. Yes. You're going to a yes. different, like, <laughs> like it's almost like you going you going to war. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm not going to war. I know you're not, but it's like it's like you, you know how soldiers would, would like leave for the army for like ten oh, years. Oh yeah, and you're like I don't know when yeah, he's gonna come. He might die. Yeah. Like, yeah, I know. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, well, you you are. I am. You are. Um, going off topic. Going super super off topic. Okay, so going super off topic. Uh, A hard left right now. Yeah. Okay. But is Korea? I don't think I even like came back to my friends. I don't even think. I talk to my friend. I don't even think I talked to anybody in the past like two weeks or a week and a half. Mm. Other than you. <laughs> <laughs> and Gabe can attest to this. I mean, I guess this is the down bad show. <laughs> wow, he down That's bad. Right. Oh yeah, you kind of you kind of went MIA. I went a little MIA. Took a little simcation. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <sighs> For your time. You hit that full full immersion. Full immersion. Full immersion. <laughs> <laughs> this is not even a podcast. This is just us. In, in yeah, a, this is not a podcast this, anymore. We're yeah, just, yeah, well, we're just, we're just what, what are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> Yo, what are we doing? <laughs> do the people want to watch this? <laughs> they don't want to watch this. I don't, I don't know if they'll actually watch this all the way. Like, <laughs> yeah. Or if you guys are still watching, then you know you guys must must see the the, the authentic authenticity. Okay, uh, now I have a question. Um. So is this how? So you have a crush on me, right? I would say. Is it? Lack of a better word. Lack of a better word, right? Is this how things normally go down with crushes? Like, how, how do you crush on somebody? I feel like. Do, do you um, always get end up getting somebody that you're you're crushing on? Usually I do. Usually you do. Yeah. What about the the times that where it don't work out? There's some times that it doesn't work out, right? Yeah. I mean, we're human. Like, and not everyone's gonna like everybody. For sure. But. In the times that it doesn't work out, I just kind of move on, just swallow it, and just move on. Yeah. yeah. But for the most part, it, I'm, it, I'm it, not that great dealing with rejection. I'm gonna be really honest. If we want to uh, pour that one out. Okay. Yeah, rejection's a little bit rough for me. I don't think anybody likes no, rejection. No one likes rejection. Yeah. I, oh my God! Speaking of rejection, Korea. Oof. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> It, it's just it, it, well, they're just the Korean people in general. They're just you know very the Korean people, in general. What I'm a, I'm not gonna offend anybody. They're gonna see the like live footage of them rejecting me. Of like yeah, I'm sorry, just bow and but walk what were you away. Doing this? I want to say Korean people in general. I think just in that aspect of confrontation. Maybe it was the context. Like wait, what were you doing? I just like hey, do you want to be in a YouTube video? Okay, no, that that see in in Korea, there's this thing where um they have a law where like you can't film anyone like in public or also you can't really like film unless someone consents to it and like most people don't like to be documented so uh, like it's a it's a thing like yeah. people do not like to be on camera oh, okay yeah so don't take it like personally yeah yeah i mean like i know some other people came out to korea and they were also trying to like film content and they couldn't do it because no one was trying to be in their content that's just the truth so. yeah yeah don't don't take it to offense it's not your it's not because of you it's just yeah yeah but it just got to a point where I just, oof, it, it was rough. No, it's all right. Yeah. It, it'd be like that. <laughs> but um, with, with the crushes thing, right? Can you ever pinpoint like, oh, what is it? What what was it about about a guy that makes you crush on them? Mm, I mean, again, all of the questions that you ask me are very subjective to the person. So I feel like it's super hard to just be like, yeah. The, I mean, I know you're not ask, asking for like, facts or like a right answer or anything mm -hmm. but i guess if you're asking for me what makes me have a crush on someone is their drive and ability to focus on themselves i know it's like really bare minimum simple like it's not really something that like you're like oh that's surprising right but i think it's hard to pinpoint huh no i mean that that is the pinpoint for me like if that person has no drive and motivation to succeed for his own life then that's, that's a, what's it called it's the opposite of game changer it's like uh, oh, oh oh deal breaker deal breaker deal breaker yes it is deal a deal breaker because someone that cannot like focus on his life and is easily swayed to like go off track like that's someone i don't want in my life mm. because i i'm also very like on track with my life as well so i need that same energy if not i need like more 
like that energy has to be so like strong that even it has to like light it up my ass too like I have to be like yo he's like doing so much so I like I mean it's not competition right but like if I can be motivated by that person then like that just makes me like even 10 times better like I want to become an even greater person when I'm dating someone Mm. yeah so to answer the question with the crushes thing I think it's just genuinely like someone that is so motivated to like do his stuff like yeah Mm. Has Jimmy ever been like this around another girl? <laughs> what is like this? What's like know. this? Or like, does he act like this normally? Or I mean, like, if he does, he, he just, just yeah. It's crazy, huh? You don't even know me. I don't. We've only been. Is he acting normal right now? No, I feel like it's always different with different people, but it still like has similarities to it. So I'd say yes and no. Mm. Obviously, you make him act a little different than like. You do be at making me acting a little different. Like what? I don't know. This is gonna be called the simp session. The simp session. <laughs> the simp session. Yeah. yeah. Simp therapy. Uh, I, you know, I don't even have time to like sit down and reflect on just the the past two weeks that's 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 happened. You haven't. I haven't really. I, I can't wait, actually. I want to see what your brain tells you. Yeah. I'm so curious. Like, he's going to be in his room listening to Marvin's room. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no, no. I'm over that. I'm over that part. Uh, Remember, I, we're on the bus back. <laughs> <laughs> Gabe, you were there. What was he playing? Well, I was playing ho- on the bus. Remember? I was car sick that bus. I know, that but. The party bus was crazy. But it was just like, hey. Oh, the party bus. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Remember, I, I came into the bus. Yeah. She was sitting off to the side. I came to the bus. That was like post, like, oh yeah, we're not gonna do this anymore. We're not gonna see each other. Bye, peace. You're going to Korea. All right, cool. I come back. I'm like, yeah, I'm never gonna see this girl again. Hey, cue up, uh, cue up every the saddest song that you guys know. And then, and then I, I like. And then I told the group, I was like, yo, it's because it's like, oh, we're going home. So it should I feel, heard that. It should feel I like I literally a, was like, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. <laughs> yeah, so, so I, I, I kind of play, played it off as like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, on the bus ride back. Gabe, you had no idea, huh? This is the first time finding out, huh? On, on the bus ride back. Especially coming back, I got lost for a second, you remember? Oh, no, he, yeah, wasn't he, wasn't he wasn't even there for he the longest time. He wasn't even there. Time. So 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 when I did come, so the time that you were you were gone, I I was walking on I was on on the bus, everybody was you know everybody's was kind of quiet. I was like you know what the vibe is, sad songs. Oh, this is when the bus wasn't moving. Maybe that's why you thought everybody lives in Jimmy's world. What? That was like I guess like a Jimmy's world. Like everybody gotta live. Yeah. Now in, in my sadness because I'm sad. Maybe you don't know. I'm like, man, fuck your shit. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Don't put on some headphones, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at him, <laughs> You've done that before. <laughs> I have, right? You do that shit all the time. <laughs> I swear, you always have like a... Either it's like you're angry or, or, or like upset or something, you just... You just want to throw it on in the car. All right, bitch. Ain't nobody feeling this way. What the hell? See? I was right. Go Jimmy's corner, world is world. Like uh, nah, people were fucking with it though. Yeah, because you made them. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I don't make them. Facts. Facts. Yeah, you brought them into your world. Yeah. You, and, and you they, sucked and, them in. And they, and they loved my world. No, they didn't. You think they loved your world. No, no. And you I, will forever think that they loved your world. Vibe, I guess. Like, no, no, it was a great vibe. Sure. Everybody had a great time. Except for me. <laughs> 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 but the whole time, so you were you were awake the whole time. I was car sick, but I was awake. Uh, wh- I was like, wh- 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 what were you thinking? I was like, ah, Jimmy really wants to, he wants to play this game, does he? He was like, everyone, we're gonna listen to sad songs. I was just like, you know what? Okay, fuck it. So I like a Helen, and I was like, and a Helen was like, and it's just the music started playing. And I was like, ah, so I just pretended I was sleeping. Uh, yeah. yeah, I did that. I, I actually did that on purpose. I know you did. Yeah, I did. But I didn't want to play into it. Uh, yeah. I was kind of annoyed you did it. Huh? I was like, she is That's really okay. not reacting. I think it's at funnier all. that if I fell asleep, if I fell asleep, you would just you'd be like, well, all my efforts are kind of like wasted. Yeah. No, I was still having a blast. I mean, so regardless of what your reaction see Jimmy's was. World. No, this is a competition. He this thinks everything is a competition. I have one question that uh, might get cut off, might not, but. 
You know, as a as a viewer, I'm sure everybody clicked on this, and after seeing the videos, they're probably wondering, what are you guys? Post uh, Korea. Post Korea. Post two dates. I don't know. What are we? How <laughs> <laughs> fucking know. Just to, just to make it clear. Put it out there. Well, we're not dating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think we're just spending time. We're spending with each time other. with each other. We're getting to know each other, and, and it's. I'm happy. Probably gonna be temporary. That is all. I think that we're spending time with each other, and I'm enjoying his company. I would like to know more about him, but I'm also not going to enforce anything onto him. So yeah. I mean, I know. All I know is that I'm like happy right now. So yeah, we're two kids chilling, chilling. That's funny because when you watch back the the footage, you'll say that right when you said it's temporary. I said I was happy. <laughs> temporary happiness. No, it. You'll see it later. Oh. When you watch it back, you'll see it. <laughs> okay. You'll see my reaction to that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so <laughs> well, uh, this is how we met. <laughs> this is so it's okay. This is how uh, I met your father. Hi, kids. Hi, kids. How's it going? Hi, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> well, kids, the story is still progressing. Honestly, you never know. Life is crazy. That being said, I think we should wrap it up. Mm. Yeah, it's been an interesting episode. I it has been an interesting episode. Yeah. It's been a ride. Yeah. yeah. An emotional roller coaster, shall we say. Oh, yeah. If you guys made it this far, then, you know, congrats to you. Congrats. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Hope it was well watching. Follow Casey <laughs> on all platforms. Mom and Dad will see you <laughs> next time. Toodles. Peace, peace.